Yeah, it just it didn't go the way we planned. Um, you know, we wanted to go up, and obviously, still two games on the road. Black Hills played a great game, really aggressive with us, and uh, you know, I thought we had probably our poorest showing of the the season. A lot of turnovers, missed shots, missed layups, and uh, you know, we had a chance at the end. Just they made a couple more plays than us, and then that next night, I thought the girls rebounded really well and. Uh, defensively, we played a phenomenal game and it created some offense for us. And it was really fun to see the girls really get after it. Um, and hopefully, we can kind of propel ourselves using that energy that we had in that last game. So looking ahead to this weekend, back out on the road, Adam State and CSU Pueblo. What do you know about the, uh, those teams? Two really good teams. I think they're both improved from last year. They brought in, you know, some new kids. Each team has some transfers on there. Back with. You know some of their key players. So, you know, one thing we've talked about is they're they're going to get better as the year goes on, and the more time they have, they'll start to click a little bit more. But both are really aggressive, uh, and you know they can shoot it. They got some posts, and so it's something that we're really they've got our attention, and we've got to play really well to go down and and win on the road. Questions. Coach, to the untrained eye, you know, uh, you have a 10-point loss to Black Hill State and then turn around and this huge 50-point win on Saturday. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, what the difference was in the two nights? Yeah, you know, we had a 30 – we led in, uh, in the Black Hills game for 32 minutes. So, you know, it was a game, I think, that kind of slipped away from us right at the end. And, uh, you know, that 10-point loss was probably – we fouled a bunch right at the end to try to get some extra possessions and gave them some more points. But, you know, we – we tried to talk about it all week, what it was going to be like going up there. And, and you know, they really came after us. And, and uh, you know, we responded a little bit at the beginning. But as the game went on, we just, we just had too many mistakes. Um, and then, you know, the girls responded. I think they understood, like, you, you can't just show up. And it's really difficult to win on the road. It doesn't matter who you're playing. You know, you just have to give your best every night. Now you've played two games at home, played two on the road. Did you kind of learn anything from, from the road experience? I know you've been on the road before, obviously, but in 2020, anything you do different? Like you know, I mean, it's just you, we just got to be ready for a lot of things. There's going to be adversity. You know, the shot clocks didn't work in the Black Hills game. You know, just a lot of crazy things happen that, you know, kind of take out of the flow of preparing right at the beginning of the game. And we just, it doesn't matter what's thrown at us. The, we have to respond better. Um, you know, there, there's going to be more of that as, as we go on. You know, even coming back from the road trip, we had issues with the bus and getting in late. And so there's, that's just how it is in this league. When you, when you travel by bus, there's, you got to expect crazy things to happen when you go over mountain passes and, and have to deal with snow. So, you know, I, like I said, I, I think we're, I'm starting to feel a little bit better about our team and, you know, who can step up and who can do what and, you know, when kids need to be out there. But there's a lot more room for improvement. And I think the girls know that and I think they're hungry. So hopefully that the Black Hills game was a wake up call for us and we can play a little bit better and, and respond, you know, to adversity. I kind of was going to ask that from a play perspective. You kind of mentioned the wake up call. Is that a loss can kind of turn into a learning experience, or what, how, how does getting a win and a, and a loss kind of on the road help going forward, maybe? Well, Coach always tells us we don't have to lose to learn something. We can still learn something when we win. Um, so, I mean, from here on out, I'd rather win and learn stuff than lose and learn stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it was a little wake-up call, and, um, you know, you can't take one night off. You can't have – one day where everything goes wrong, you know, you got to still be solid about something in our game. And I think we showed that the next night, but we needed it Friday night too. Uh, yeah, I mean, with Kelsey, Coach always says you don't need to lose or whatever. Um, but I think, you know, also we just have to know we did lose. That sucks. Obviously, none of us wanted that, but we can't dwell on it. And I, I was really proud of us for not dwelling on it. You know, we came out and played really hard the next night when it would have been really easy to just be upset about how we played last night or what we did last night, whether it was good or bad. It's a clean slate every single weekend, every single every single game. So no matter, it doesn't even matter if we played well on Saturday or on Friday. We have to play well Saturday. So.
Um, I guess I just kind of been working on giving whatever the defense gives me, being able to be a threat wherever uh, I can and stuff, and also just being able to, you know, play with my teammates and stuff. We have a core group that's played with each other for pretty much all four years. So that um, really helps. And also, like, having Danny and Nat and Kelsey all, like, really big threats that, um, you know, who are they going to focus on type of thing. And so I think it might not always be my night, and I'm totally okay with that. And I'm okay with just stepping up when I need to step up and getting the ball to people that are, you know, have the hot hand that night type of thing. But I think we're really tough to guard when we have multiple girls that are, you know, a threat, you know, ready, to, ready, and uh, it's it's fun to play with them like that. So, Coach, that kind of mindset for you, whoever's hot on any given night. Let's let's go with that. Yeah, I, I mean, it's great. I think you know, the, in some of those big games, we've had four or five people in double figures, and um, you know, when when we can spread the floor a little bit, it's definitely gonna gonna help us in the long run. And I, it'll be different every night, you know, but we still want that consistency from everybody and. I, as the season progresses, hopefully we get a little bit stronger offensively as well. Some of the talk at the beginning of the season was about conditioning and stuff like that. How, how are you feeling about conditioning levels at this point? I, I think we're getting back to where we need to be. Um, you know, having a little pause in it probably took a little bit out of us, but it seems like the girls, you know, looking on the court, we're back to, you know, almost normal, and it's great because we'll have another break in, in six days. So, uh, you know, and then we'll be back to square one again. But, you know, I think the girls have handled it well and they understand what they need to do um, physically to, to get ready and then also the mental preparation. So it's fun to have an older group like we have and, you know, because we really don't have to say them a lot. You know, we might give them a little bit reminder, but they know what to do. This plant probably watch film, hang out with my kids, you know, do some different things like that. But you know, just make sure that we're getting better and and uh, ready because it goes quick. You know, the seven days that we get off, it actually it really goes quickly. So, you know, we we it seems like we've had a huge break with the COVID and everything. So, I think we're just ready to play and keep going and. I, you know, there's part of me that wishes we, you know, I want them to be able to go home and be with their families for the break, but there's part of me that wishes we could just keep playing and go right into it. And it seems like the longer you wait, the more things could turn ugly on us. Is it more just like a home workout for you guys? If, like, player perspective, do you just have to? Yeah, there, I mean, there's an NCA moratorium. So from the 21st through the 27th of December, we can't have contact with them. But you know, most of them are going to be home, and then they're they got to figure out what they're going to do and <laughs> get their workouts in.